Business casual is the ultimate in-between dress code. It's kind of like the Goldilocks of dress codes. Not too dressy, not too casual, but just right. What's up guys, I'm Brian Sakawa. you're watching He Spoke Style, and today, five business casual outfit ideas for fall. One way to do business casual is to combine dressy elements with those that are more sporty or casual. Here, I'm doing both. Let's take care of the dressy element first though, and that is this pair of charcoal gray flannel pants. Absolute must for the fall closet. These are part of a suit from the Made to Measure collection with Michael Andrews that we are launching in the next couple of months. Up top, we get more sporty and casual, starting with the brown gingham shirt. And then instead of a blazer, I threw on this black Levi's denim jacket. I like to call it my blazer with an edge. Tie is by Seward and Stern, very seasonal in a thick wool and also this beautiful rust color. On my wrist, as it will be in each of these looks, is the Vacheron Constantin Traditionnel. And then finished off with a pair of dark brown wingtips. These are the Allen Edmonds McAllister. Next up is a very traditional and simple approach to business casual. Sport coat, shirt, pants, loafers, all in the classic menswear palette of blue, gray, and brown. So the sport coat is definitely the key piece to this look. It's the garment that stands out, and that is because of the wonderful brown Glen plaid pattern. Really pops off the solid foundation. The flannel cloth is by Fox. Patch pockets give it a more casual feel. And this is another piece that will be in the HSS Michael Andrews MTM collection. Uh, we'll put a sign up link up there at the top as well as down in the description so you can be the first to find out about it. Two basics for the foundation of this look. Of course, the blue OCBD and then the charcoal flannel pants from the first look. Two inch cuff as always. And then on my feet are these Kilty loafers with a strap by GH Bass. Next we have something that is sophisticated, elegant, and yet modern at the same time. Obviously, everything about this outfit hinges upon the turtleneck, and instead of wearing it untucked, that I've chosen to tuck it in. The turtleneck itself is by Pini Parma, cashmere and wool blend. Pini Parma is an Italian brand, very similar to Suit Supply, and I will be doing a review of them in the near future. Now, tucking in a turtleneck is a very high risk, high reward proposition. Done right, I think it looks very cool, very sleek, very modern. Moving on to the pants now, these are from a ring jacket suit. Again, two inch cuff. A look like this that has more of uh, sophistication to it um, is always enhanced in my opinion by a pair of glasses. The ones I'm wearing, one of my favorite pairs are by Cubits. Simple watch on the wrist, and then keeping that casual, elegant vibe going with some tassel loafers by Johnston and Murphy. Here we have what I would consider to be a more business casual version of the quote unquote uniform. The uniform of course being navy jacket, blue or white shirt, tie, gray pants, brown shoes. So obviously we have the navy jacket. This is in a hop sack fabric by Michael Andrews. Gray flannel pants also by Michael Andrews. Now let's talk about the more casual elements infused here. First we have the shirt. This is a denim shirt, it's by Peter Millar. And for business casual, I think a denim shirt is a great substitution for your classic OCBD or poplin or twill shirt. Just gives it a little bit of a casual edge. Uh, next, because the uniform is pretty much a blank slate and because this is business casual, we have an opportunity to do something interesting with the tie. Went with a houndstooth pattern here, which makes it the focal point of the look. And then the final casual touch are these suede lace-ups by Todd's. Final outfit today is a variation on the sport coat button-down trousers theme. Now, when it comes to business casual, I can't overstate the importance of having a good sport coat. And having two is better than one. Uh, here I've got another Michael Andrews sport coat, but instead of a Glen plaid, we have a gun club check. Cloth is wool by Holland and Sherry. Again, patch pockets, keeping it casual. Underneath, going with another denim shirt. This is a button-down by Brunello Cuccinelli. Pants are vintage YSL, part of a suit that I paid about $200 for uh, secondhand a number of years ago. And then one of the best accessories you can have for fall, which is a lightweight silk scarf. I think if you're not going to wear a tie, that a scarf is a great way to add something extra to a look. Kind of finish it off um, and pull everything together. And speaking of pulling everything together, let's talk about the shoes. Dark burgundy tassel loafers by Johnson & Murphy. So those are five outfit ideas for doing business casual this fall. All outfit details, as always, are listed down below in the description. If you wanna be among the first to know about the HSS Michael Andrews MTM collection launch, that link to sign up is also down there. Leave a comment, let me know which look you liked best. 
thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, and until next time, thanks for watching and stay tailored.